This video is about algebraic notation, but it's just a starter and it was really only talking about the notation for the most basic um, aspects of mathematics, be in addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Algebraic notation is important because it's important that when we try and make an argument that everyone understands exactly what it is that we mean. Okay, so let's look at the four basic operations. So the first one is add. And another thing we could have that would mean the same as add is total and sum. And one word more would be more than. And all of these are represented with the addition symbol. So let's look at an example. A add B. Well, how would we write that with mathematical notation? The total of A and B. How would we write that? The sum of A and B and B more than A. Well, how do we write these four different things? Well, actually, this is where that lack of confusion comes in with mathematics because they all mean exactly the same thing, A add B. Then we've got subtract, the difference and less than, all represented by the minus sign. And we could have A subtract B, the difference between A and B and B less than A. And if I haven't guessed already, they're all written exactly the same way. We've got multiply by, we've got times more than, and we've got times. They'll all, um, we don't represent those with a symbol. We just put the things together. And we recognize that when we do that, that that means multiplication. So we have A multiplied by B, B more times than A and A times B. And we just put them together. It's just A, B. And when we see things like that, we recognize that that means multiplication. What about divided by or shared by? Well, that is division. That's clear here. But how do we represent that? Well, we represent it with a fraction. You might look at that and think, well, actually, if I made that line longer and that small and that small, it would look like a division symbol and you wouldn't be wrong. So we've got A divided by B, A shared by B. And they're both written, well, they're written like this, A over B. When things don't have an equals in them, we typically call them expressions. But when there's an equals in there, well, that's when we've got an equation. So equals clearly would imply an equation. Is implies we're talking about equation was and becomes. They'll all make us think of the equal sign. So we can have A equals BC. Well, we know that BC, we know that means B multiplied by C from previously. And we'd write that as A equals BC. We can just change the equals for, well, an equals. Is means the same thing. So we know that B plus C means B plus C. So A is B plus C just means A equals B plus C. Was, similarly, we do the same thing. And becomes um, does the same thing. But look at this a bit more complicated. The becomes, we're going to change to an equals. And that shared by, well, we're going to write this as a division or as a fraction. A, B, C over D. So we get A equals A, B, C over D. A much more complicated one there. OK, so multiplications are quite special. Multiplication and alphabetical order. Um, it's again to do with this idea that we all understand what we mean. So look, AB means A multiplied by B. OK, BA means B multiplied by A. But imagine if these were numbers. If that was a 2 and a 3 and 2 times 3 or three, um, 3 times 2, they both give the same value, which means these are basically the same thing. So A times B does equal B times A. So how do we do that? Well, we use alphabetical order. And that way, we won't look at these things and think they're different. We first of all change this into alphabetical order. But there's one more thing. Numbers go first. So let's look at some examples. ACB becomes ABC, alphabetical order. F2B becomes 2BF. Numbers always go first. Then it's alphabetical order. I hope you found the video helpful. The video goes with a book that I'm writing for Year 9 Mathematics in New Zealand. And you can find a link to a copy of the book um, below. And that book is free for you to use and give to others. In the book, you can find questions that go with this video. And in the link below this video, you'll be able to find answers to those questions. Stay in Infield with Winfield.